If you study the war for independence, it's very obvious that God had a purpose for America and God was directly involved in allowing us to be victorious over the British. There's no reason that we should have won that war. It was a little short of a miracle. We have the, the great founders, George Washington and Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson and Samuel Adams, and the list goes on and on, many of whom were believers. In fact, uh, most of them were. They had an understanding of biblical truth, and they were applying that in a way that had never really been done on earth. It's very plain that the early Americans believed that God was doing something very special here in this nation. And education really is a key to that. It's important that, that students recognize that God established this country with a purpose and plan, the fullest expression of Christian government and liberty that's ever been on the face of the earth. One of the things that has been lost in our, in our nation today is the ability for people to think and reason justly. We see the undermining of so many of the values that were in place at the founding of the nation. The change in morality within our culture, uh, the way that people don't think logically anymore, uh, the way that people, even within the church often, uh, have uh, compromised with secular views and uh, no longer have a biblical basis for much of their thinking, uh, it's happening very rapidly. Without a, a nation of people who can reason rightly from God's Word, we really are in trouble. We're doomed. The principal approach is America's historic biblical method of education. It's the kind of education that took place here in America for about the first 200 years. And it really focused primarily on teaching children how to reason from biblical principles and apply them to every area of life. In the principal approach, we're teaching students to think deeply, not just accept what's being told or spoken to you. Find out what the truth is. Research. Make sense of it. Examine it against the standard of God's Word, because that's where truth is. At Dayspring, we don't just have chapel and a Bible class. Uh, those things are very important, and we do have chapel and we do have Bible class. But one of the things that makes us distinct is that each subject is taught from a biblical foundation. It offers an opportunity to bring scripture into the science classroom, the math classroom, the history classroom, and to see how uh, God is working out His plan uh, based on what His Word says. The education that students are going to get at Dayspring, uh, I believe, is very full, very rich, because it restores some of the subjects back that, that have been taken out over the years, whether it's logic and rhetoric, Latin, uh, being able to uh, pick up a piece of literature and discern truth in that literature. So all those things help to bring a very full and rich experience to the student. One thing I hear over and over from uh, parents is your staff love my children. Just watching every single one of the Dayspring teachers, how they teach the course, how they live outside of the course, that in itself is, has been one of the biggest testimonies to me. This is a lifelong ministry for them, and it shows in their interaction with us as parents and they truly deeply care about the students and the quality of education that they're receiving. Everything is an object lesson. Everything is an opportunity to teach kids about character. Everything is an opportunity to see God's hand. Everything is an opportunity to see God revealed. Um, we start out our day with that prayer. Um, Father, please help us to see your hand in our lives today. Help us to grow in character. Help us to see you, your character, your nature, your plan through the subjects. Excellence in academics is important to us, but all those things really pale in comparison to developing Christian character in the heart of the individual, because that will take that child into adulthood through adulthood at the times when they will be leading this nation, when they will be leading families, when they will be leading businesses. The most important thing for them to leave Dayspring with is, is a character that, um, that would please the Lord. Thank you.